priceless license to keep your job. The case was filed by entrepreneur Ash Patel and a group of eyebrow threaders. Previously, threaders were required to take a 750-hour course that didn't even cover threading before they could go to work. But earning an honest living should not have you pulling your own hair out. Here are just a few things that you should know about the ruling. After their sweeping victory, Ash Patel and other eyebrow threaders can finally go back to work after a six-year legal battle about the rights of entrepreneurs under the Texas Constitution. In this historic decision, the Texas Supreme Court held that economic liberty is one of the vital privileges of state citizenship. So the government can't just meddle in your right to support yourself and your family. The court in this case did exactly what courts are supposed to do. It looked at the evidence and it decided the proper role of government. Here what that means is that threaders can't be required to take over 700 hours of training in other people's jobs in order to continue doing their job. That is precisely the role of the judiciary. Now consumers, not bureaucrats, will decide who succeeds in the threading business. And businesses will have to compete to provide better services to their customers without relying on government protectionism. What we did is uh, brought the best business practices of hospitality industry, that is my background, into a uh, threading salon. Uh, offered very clean, organized, and professional environment to all our customers, and the customers loved it. In the past three years, IJ has scored major victories striking down burdensome laws around the country. From a casket sales law in Louisiana to taxi regulations in Milwaukee, hair braiding regulations in Utah and Texas, and now the licensing of eyebrow threading. These decisions have allowed people to go back to work and support themselves. All courts must protect people's right to earn an honest living. I came to Texas from India to start my own business. Six years ago, I had to shut my business down. With this victory, I can continue to pursue my 